Right now, hundreds of people are lined up for President Trump's rally tonight in Tampa. We'll show you what's going on inside and outside of the arena there. Plus, new details about the death of a Fort Myers police officer shot by a Sarasota man. And why the Pinellas County Sheriff says he made the right decision in a stand your ground shooting of an unarmed man. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm Scott Dennis, thanks so much for being with us. Our top story this evening, President Trump's visit to Tampa. There's a huge crowd outside of the Florida State Fairgrounds waiting to get inside for the rally. People have been waiting since this morning for their chance to see the president. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us now live from outside of the fairgrounds. Jess, what's going on there? Well, Jacqueline and Scott, while there are thousands of Trump supporters here, not everyone here is a supporter, including Democratic gubernatorial candidate Jeff Green. Jeff will be leading a protest in about an hour. Talk to me about why you call yourself Trump's worst nightmare. Well, everything that Trump stands for, I'm against for the most part. I mean, we are sitting here in Florida, which is in a state of emergency. You know that our schools are 40th in the country. Our environment is being destroyed. A toxic green algae in Lake Okeechobee. 20, what is it, 2.3 million Floridians, no health care at all. You know, I mean, we are going, we, we are in a state of emergency. What Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis stand for is exactly what we have to put an end to in Florida, and that's why I'm running for governor. Thank you so much. We'll take you live to that protest again at 6 o'clock. But for now, we'll take it inside to ABC 7's Adam Cellini. Adam, what does it look like in there at this point? Thank you, Jess, and welcome inside that rally here at the Florida State Fairgrounds. That massive crowd from outside filing in, everybody trying to find their seats. We've heard a few chants break out already up and down. We've spoken with a few people in attendance as well. Of course, this is President Trump's effort to endorse gubernatorial candidate Ron DeSantis. Uh, not a whole lot of name recognition in the people we spoke with about DeSantis, but they say that boost from Trump is a boost for their vote as well. This would be a very important day for him. What will Trump have to say about the other Republican candidates? And what will Trump have to say about DeSantis? And what will DeSantis say? Will he go all in on Trump? We'll be bringing you all that live coverage throughout the night. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Adam, thank you. Again, we will have uh, team coverage throughout the evening here on ABC 7. President Trump expected to land at Tampa International Airport within the hour. He'll then go to a roundtable discussion at Tampa Bay Technical High School for a talk on career and technical education. And then around 7, the motorcade will arrive for that rally at the Florida State Fairgrounds and the Expo Hall there. And many of those people at the rally standing outside in the rain, regardless of what was coming down, waiting for President Trump. Let's get more on our forecast right now here at the Sun Coast with meteorologist Josh Stone, who's in right, for Bob tonight. Right, no rain right now over Sarasota. We actually have some sunny skies, 87 degrees, current temperature dew point at 77, but there is heavy rain coming down, just not at least over the Sun Coast right now on the shore. But as far as inland in central Manatee County near Parrish and just to the east of Brainton, we have a heavier cell producing extremely heavy rain and some lightning strikes. But the big news right now is this cell here. The National Weather Service has issued a significant weather advisory with this cell. It's moving very slowly, producing heavy rain, maybe up to two, three inches of rain by the time this is done. And you can see all the lightning strikes taking place right now over Wachula. Everywhere else, though, looks pretty quiet. And of course, people waiting to get in to see President Donald Trump speak up in Tampa. No issues there, at least at this time, with uh, the rainfall. And you see some of the amounts earlier today, close to an inch around the Sun Coast. That's about it. But that one in Hardy County, that's the one that's going to produce the heaviest rain. Throughout the night, storms start to wind down. Temperatures will be very comfortable, mid 70s by the early morning hours of tomorrow. Back to you. All right, thank you, Josh. An Austrian man is charged with a lewd or lascivious battery after deputies say he flew to the U.S. to meet and have sex with a 15-year-old girl. It all began yesterday when the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office put out an alert that a 15-year-old girl was missing in Venice. The teen's mother said her daughter had been in contact online with an 18-year-old man known as Leo from Austria. 
When deputies found the girl and Leo Simitzberger, they say she told them she had been in a relationship with him since September of 2017 and that the two had had sex at his vacation rental. Deputies say Simitzberger confirmed he and the teen were in a relationship. He was arrested and charged with lewd or lascivious battery. Deputies say a homeless man already on probation for theft is responsible for a string of burglaries in Inglewood. Matthew O'Connor arrested last night after someone reported a suspicious person in a Walmart parking lot. Deputies have been looking for him all day and after burglaries were reported at four different homes throughout the day. Stolen items included a motorcycle, jewelry, a bike, guitar and cell phones. O'Connor now faces more than a dozen charges. Tonight we're learning more about recent robberies and thefts in Sarasota with people using the app called Let Go. P police say over the last two weeks at least three people have been robbed or stolen from while using to sell items uh, with that Let Go app. Let Go is a free app. It allows users to buy from, sell to, and chat with others in the community. We'll have more on the suspects described in these incidents coming up at 6 o'clock. New details tonight about the shooting death of a Fort Myers police officer. Investigators say 29 year old Weisner Desmerit of Sarasota was running from Officer Adam Jobbers Miller after stealing a cell phone. Video from the officer's body camera shows Desmerit appear to surrender. He then lunges at the officer, knocking him onto his back. Investigators say Desmerit then pulled the officer's gun from his belt and shot him. The 29 year old officer died on Saturday. A viewing will be held Sunday from 4 in the afternoon until 9 p.m. at Gendron Funeral Home in Fort Myers. A funeral ceremony will take place on Monday at noon at Germain Arena. The Pinellas County Sheriff is defending his decision to not arrest the man who invoked the Stand Your Ground law after a deadly shooting earlier this month. Michael Draca shot and killed Marquise McLaughlin in Clearwater after a parking dispute. In a news conference today, Sheriff Bob Gultari said the investigation into the shooting is ongoing and the final decision on whether charges against Draca are warranted will be up to the state attorney. ABC 7 Business Commentator Richard Stern joined us now and yesterday we held all down arrows and tonight we reversed it all up arrows. I guess we can call that turnaround Tuesday. I don't yeah. know what else to call it. Some good news with the U.S. and China maybe getting some trade things figured out. It certainly helped. Yes, indeed, Scott's got it. Yesterday we were down from the get-go. Today we were up all day long. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up by 184 points at the high of the day. But the real message is July is now in the record books, and the month of July is second only to the month of January this year. And if you recall, January was a very good month. NASDAQ, so-so. The S&P, also a very good month, as good as we've seen since January. So let's take a look at the final figures for the day. There you see the Dow up 108 points, more than four-tenths of 1% at 25,415.19, that on volume of 881 million shares. The NASDAQ, which absolutely got clobbered yesterday, up half a point today, half a percent I should say, almost 42 points at 7,671.19, that on volume of 1,909,000,000 shares. And the S&P up as well, one half of 1%, up almost 14 points at 2,816.29. Well, Ralph Lauren today announced that they had an increase in their quarterly sales. Big deal? Yes, indeed, a big deal. That's the first time in 13 quarters, more than three years, that Ralph Lauren has actually seen an increase in sales. The good news is they also saw an increase in profits. They were selling more goods at full price than they've been able to sell for a very, very long time. And oh, by the way, the stock has done well. The stock up 30% so far this year. And uh, yes, the market's been good for most of the year, but up 30% is pretty darn good. I was shocked to see that Ralph Lauren hadn't had an increase in sales in more than three years. Yeah. Mm, surprised me. That's interesting. Well, any news um, coming down late from Apple today? They announced their earnings at 4.30 this afternoon. Wall Street was looking for $2.18. They came out at $2.34. So that stock should definitely open higher tomorrow. All right, okay. thank you so much, Richard. You're welcome. Coming up, an update on three new schools coming to East Manatee County when they're expected to be complete. And meteorologist Josh Stone will be back with your first alert forecast. Plus, are you afraid of germs on public transportation? Why you might be able to grab on without fear. Coming up next. The ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac.
You got a king? Go fish! In your face, in your face. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Reorganizing a space in your home? Save up to 20% on our beautiful light finishes during the California Closets Shades of White event. Contact us today for a free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Our nurse, Jennifer, all we did is pick up the phone if I was having a bad day, and the next thing we know, she's at the, she was here at the door. I can't believe that I would have received any greater care anywhere. From that moment on, everything changed dramatically. And I don't know what we would have done without that. Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Forester is an IIHS top safety pick for 12 years running. And right now, you can lease a new Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Reorganizing a space in your home? Save up to 20% on our beautiful light finishes during the California Closets Shades of White event. Contact us today for a free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Thousands of new homes are coming to East Manatee County in the next few years. New homes, of course, means new families and new students in Manatee County schools, about a thousand a year on average. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us with more details. Yay! Manatee County school leaders are celebrating another step toward the opening of three new schools in East Manatee County. I think it's very important. Starting in fall 2019, about 4,000 new students will sit in untouched desks, while staff, instructors, and substitutes like Bob Lunergan will teach in brand new buildings. Having a new school is kind of a special thing too, and it's kind of a flagship. The school district of Manatee County tells us all three school construction projects are on schedule, despite the recent rain impacting our area. They've done a good job of getting construction to the point where the weather is a little less of a factor. School board chairman Scott Hope says the district wants to hire North River High School's principal before Christmas break. The principals for Dr. Mona Jane Middle and Barbara A. Harvey Elementary are expected to start in January, with the instructional hiring process taking place through May 2019. Hope says the need for all three schools is crucial, since 35,000 new homes are expected to be built in Parish in the next decade. It looks like we're going to have to be building more schools in the not too distant future. Now some students from nearby Braden River, Palmetto and Lakewood Ranch High Schools will attend North River High, with some students zoned for Harvey Elementary coming from overcrowded Virgil Mills and Williams Elementary Schools. The new schools will bring a fresh mix of students together in a continuously growing part of Manatee County. Any school I go to, I really find there's, there's something neat about that school, so I really enjoy it. That was ABC 7's Erica Jackson reporting. The school board named the high school North River after receiving nominations last summer, but now more than 1,000 people have signed a petition to name that school after the parish community. The school board says it is considering options, including starting the naming process from scratch. 
In the last 24 hours, we've heard from many of our viewers about an unbearable stench, presumably from red tide that we've been struggling with. We've been talking about that horrible effects of the red tide on our beaches, marine life for weeks now, maybe months. But this is the first time we're hearing about it spreading to inland areas. Several storms last week brought in high winds. That may be the cause of it, but the color of the waters, the amount of dead fish we're seeing washing ashore on many beaches to our south, has many worried that this toxic algae is not going away anytime soon. Coming up at 6, we're going to hear from some concerned people and have some advice on how to protect yourself from the impacts of red tide. And I think really mm. just about anybody I've talked to recently is just complaining about that issue and, yeah. and the, the problems coming from it. Yeah. All right, Josh is in for Bob, and it's kind of a gloomy day, but not a lot of rain around, just a few showers, really. Yeah, mostly inland, yeah. mostly inland, and some of the storms are actually pretty strong. Right now, there's one storm in particular that has a significant weather advisory in Hardy County, edging towards Polk County. So anyway, let's check out the uh, Lakewood Ranch webcam, and notice we started off with mostly cloudy skies today, and then those clouds broke apart, and I'm stopping it right here because, boom, we've got sunshine. Well, that seems pretty nice, but then the sun got in here, heated up the ground, destabilized the atmosphere, and look what happens. Clouds form, and thunderstorms start to develop, and that's what happens at this time of the year. The sun gets in here, destabilizes, uh, the atmosphere thermals start rising, condensing out into clouds. Clouds grow taller and taller and then become eventually thunderstorms. Right now, no thunderstorms, at least on top of Sarasota, 87 degrees. Dew point st still very high in the upper 70s. And we do have plenty of showers and storms around. A lot of heavier storms are over the Gulf of Mexico, well offshore. But there are a few storms inland right now around Parrish. Heavy rain, even some lightning strikes with this cell. In Hardy County, this storm is the one that has a significant weather advisory uh, with this cell. And this is issued by the National Weather Service. It's entering into Polk County. Right now in Charlotte County, nothing really to report here, so it's quiet. But if you are heading up to Tampa tonight to the fairgrounds where President Donald Trump is speaking at this time, looks like you're okay. We're just going to have to watch a couple of those cells to the south to see if they creep up towards the north and produce any heavy wet weather in that direction. But right now, it looks like everything's contained and isolated at this time. As far as the rain today, about an inch. Remember yesterday, we had a very heavy rain coming down, produced up to over three inches in some spots. And that's why the National Weather Service issued a flood warning for the Peace River and the Horse Creek River near Arcadia. Also flood warnings for the Manatee River near Myaka Head and Little Manatee River near Wamama. Now looking at our forecast, cloudy and a wet work week ahead of us. But as we get into the weekend, some dry air comes in and we're calling for partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. But one thing for sure, the muggy air will still be in place. Thanks to an area of high pressure off east coast of Florida, bringing in that clockwise flow area, low pressure to the west, bringing in that counterclockwise flow. We have that southerly wind, and that brings up the moisture from the south, the clouds, the muggy air, and also with the heating of the day. Of course, the clouds break apart, the sun gets in here, it destabilizes the atmosphere, a few showers and storms develop. But for the overnight, I think we're going to have pretty quiet conditions. Quiet conditions also in the tropics, and that's what we like to talk about during hurricane season. Nothing to show you here. For the boaters on Wednesday, expect a southeasterly wind becoming south, 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 feet, with a light to moderate chop, especially moderate chop in the afternoon, and a few showers and storms will get going tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, a very comfortable low of 75 degrees. About two degrees off the mark for our average for this time of the year. Average is 90, will be at 88 for tomorrow. And breaking down the seven day forecast, a 60% chance of shower activity for tomorrow, which happens to be August 1st and on Thursday as well. Then look what happens by Friday, only 40% chance because dry air starts to come in from the east and eats away that moisture above us. So it looks like we're going to have a less chance of shower activity in the afternoon on Friday. And then the weekend, if you like the sunshine and you're embracing that type of weather, it looks to be terrific. Only 20 to 30% chance on Saturday and Sunday and into early next week. Back to you. Thanks, Josh. Now to first alert traffic, US 301 showing some backups in both the north and southbound lanes. 
This is in South Manatee County, right from uh, University Parkway north to Televast Road there. It does clear up, though, once you get past Televast. Jacqueline? Thanks, Scott. In health news tonight, a new study from Hong Kong shows that most of the bacteria on public transportation is actually harmless. Researchers sent clean-handed volunteers to the subway system who agreed to hold on to the rails during morning rush hour. Then they checked their hands for germs. Most of the bacteria turned out to be from people's skin. They did find a few harmful bacteria lurking in these commuter trains, but these were not nearly as common as the harmless bacteria. So experts say grab on without fear, but don't forget to wash your hands afterwards just in case. Well, sugar-free diets are a big trend this year, but just quitting sugar altogether is unlikely to improve your health. Cutting down on ultra-processed foods, eating more vegetables, and exercising will, however. The sugar-free diet is restrictive. Such, such foods as whole grains, blueberry, blueberries, and grapefruits are allowed, while white bread, bananas, and raisins are not. Remember that health is not simply about a person's size, weight, or the foods we try to avoid. Fruit is your friend and a healthy alternative to sweets. Coming up, over a dozen cars are damaged from a parking garage collapse in Texas and how three people used a baby stroller to steal a shark from an aquarium. Stay with us. We'll be right back. State Fairgrounds in Tampa, where he is expected to speak later this evening around 7 o'clock. We'll keep you updated when he's set to land at the airport there in Tampa and when he'll arrive at the rally. If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for excellence, look away. If you don't want to be seduced, Please, look away. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Investigate TV tackles the tough topics. What happened to my life was awful. When your health is compromised, we investigate. They are really drug dealers in white coats. Corporate greed exposed. How do you trust them? to run this program. The powerful held accountable with in-depth journalism led by award-winning journalist Lee Zurich. We're your watchdog. Search Investigate TV on your Roku device. Download it now. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. We answered the call of duty and left our homes to serve in far-off lands. Now, we answer another call, this time at home, in our own communities, to respond in times of chaos, to use our strength, our skills, and our experiences to bring hope amid devastation and destruction. Together, as a team of brothers and sisters, we're continuing our mission to make this country a little stronger and a little better each day. We are Team Rubicon. Fast moving and aggressive wildfires are scorching California again today, killing at least eight people and destroying more than a thousand homes and businesses. This is new video taken by the U.S. National Guard 
over the fire line of the River Fire. That's in Lakeport, California. A brush fire also broke out near homes in Santa Clarita, California, Monday. The railroad fire consumed 10 acres and was 0% contained at last check. Fire officials said the fire burned at least three buildings and no injuries have been reported. Multiple cars are damaged after a parking garage collapsed in Irving, Texas today. That's outside of Dallas. The Irving Fire Department tweeting that 21 vehicles were involved in that collapse. Helicopter footage showed a large opening in the garage. Photos from a witness at the scene showed several cars piled on top of each other. A primary search of the garage had been completed and rescue crews were planning a secondary search as well. Texas police are investigating three people who stole a shark from an aquarium and snuck it out in a baby stroller. Surveillance video captured the three thieves at the San Antonio Aquarium on Saturday. The horned shark was in an open air exhibit where guests can put their hands into the water to interact with marine life. But these three did more than just touch the fish. They grabbed the shark by the tail and then took off. The shark was found alive and is now back home at the aquarium. The suspects will be charged with theft and could possibly face federal counts as well. And take a look at these photos tweeted by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. They say those photos were taken yesterday near Nauset Beach, which is on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. You can see a shark circling beneath the waves just feet from a paddle border. Yikes. Not sure I knew it was there. Yeah. <laughs> well, still to come on your Suncoast News, people are anxiously awaiting the arrival of President Trump at a rally in Tampa. We'll have an update on when he's set to land. Plus, new details about a deadly car crash on I-75 yesterday. Tonight, we're going to hear from the victim's friends and family. Reorganizing a space in your home? Save up to 20% on our beautiful light finishes during the California Closets Shades of White event. Contact us today for a free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Be ordinary. Ghibli, the absolute opposite of ordinary. Experience it at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G-Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value and great fun. We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment, and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system could make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> Now, SoClean.com has released the world's first automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer, risk-free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. The SoClean works, and it's a really effective product, and I couldn't believe how easy it was to use. SoClean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks, destroying CPAP germs and bacteria without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and walk away. Voila! Sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398. 
or visit SoClean.com today. Reorganizing a space in your home? Save up to 20% on our beautiful light finishes during the California Closets Shades of White event. Contact us today for a free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at CaliforniaClosets.com. 